everyone. So I just want to talk about something. Um, it is this time of year. It's nice and it's Halloween, my favorite holiday. I love dressing up and I love going out. Uh, well, I'm too old to trick or treat, and I'm not a huge party person, so we mostly just hang out in our costumes and watch horror movies and stuff with my friends. So that's still lots of fun to me. I love the whole everything about Halloween. It's just so much fun. Anyways, um, but some people are having a little bit less fun this time of year um, because people. Not, o not always, but most of the time, white people um, will say, hi, hey, let's take a look at your culture, Tur turn it into a stupid costume, and make fun of it for uh, the whole time. Basically, I'm talking about racial stereotyped costumes. I was trying to make a cool intro, but I didn't end up. My words just... Bleh, bleh, bleh. I'm not very good with words, it would seem, when I'm talking live. I'm better when I'm writing, which is probably... Uh, I'm going to move on before I, I get stupid here. So anyways, um, I read this article posted, uh, a friend of mine posted on uh, his Facebook wall, and it's really just, oh my god, I can't believe that this is still happening. It's, it's talking about me, specifically Native Americans, because I, because oftentimes they're the ones that get stereotyped the most because their culture has been, um, more than anything, it's been kind of like it's become kind of mythical and historical and like not real anymore kind of thing. Like the, the, the kind of whole like cowboys and Indians thing. It's not, um, not that Indians is the proper word, I'll go into that later, um, but like they're going into the, like, you know, let's talk about, Nate, you know, they're gonna, it, it's all like, it's their characters, they're mythological, they're like princesses and knights and um, cowboys and all that stuff, but they're really not. They're a culture that was oppressed, to, like, treated worse, I think, than, okay, this, I'm not as well versed as I probably should be, so bitch about all you want, but they were treated, I think, worse than any, almost any other culture, uh, no, okay, okay, Jews, okay, Jews, yes, they were treated really bad, too, um, but anyways, anyway, they were treated the worst without, and they've had almost no apology for it, they've had almost nothing, to, like, people don't, I, I, like admit that something bad happened to them nearly as much as they do for all other cultures like black people or Jewish people or I'm really shitty at this I shouldn't be doing this at like 10 o'clock at night on a school night and anyways I just wanted to make this video um but yeah like they've been there there have been their culture has been treated like shit and everyone with other cultures that have been oppressed like let's say black people everyone knows about slavery everyone knows about the horrors they went to went through let's talk about Jewish people well, they've been oppressed pretty much the whole time that they've been around. Um, but like, if if you you know you want to talk about something that they went bat through badly, you say what Jewish people have gone through badly. Oh, t World World War Two concentration camp and all that crap. So people know about those. So people, almost everyone knows about that stuff, and people are well ver are well enough versed and admit that they went through shit. They went through hell. But. Native Americans? No, nothing. There's people don't know about the what the residential schools. People don't know about how poorly they were treated and how much they were just, you know, like the, they were living peacefully with the land. They were functioning perfectly. They had great society. And then Europeans, with all their fucked up, hey, let's kill everybody and destroy everythingness, uh, came in and was and just completely almost wiped them all out. And not just with them killing people because Native Americans were very good with stealth and all that, but but they were filthy. They brought all these diseases in that the Native Americans, leave it, leading their healthy, clean culture, weren't ready to be exposed to all these serious, serious illnesses that the white people, uh, that the Europeans were bringing over because, well, like I said, they lived clean. They lived healthy. They had, you know, like, Europeans were living like shit. They were, like, they were this, like, they were fucking, like, five foot tall at, when they were on the tall stuff, when they were tall. Sorry, I'm stuttering now. But like a, like a tall European would be like five foot five or something, whereas an average Native American would be closer to six feet because they were very very healthy. They were very good with medicine. They knew it. They were just they functioned perfectly. They did not need the Europeans to come in and civilize them. I don't know why I get so upset about this. I'm not even. Well, I I do have the teeniest bit of Native on my dad's side. I think I'm like one sixteenth or one thirty second. I can't remember when he was telling me if he said he was one sixteenth or if I was one. Anyways, teeny tiny bit. Um, but I don't know, ever since, like, whenever I was hearing about this in history class, it always really, like, I was like, really, the, like, it, it really struck me more than anything. <sighs> okay. Okay, so, but the thing is, is that the article, I gotta talk about the article. So, it's talking about costumes this time of year, that's the whole thing's about. Anyways, so, um, so it turns, so the thing is that I find most annoying is that 
being racist towards Native Americans is completely culturally acceptable. Even um, on, apparently these, these are descriptions from, for costumes on um, Spirit Halloween's website. And I'll just read some of them to you that were in this, this article. Hey, cowboy, get a look at this Indian. Stop him in his tracks. This sexy Indian dreamcatcher adult costume, all your dreams will come true. There's no need for a bow and arrow to shoot him sexy looks and he'll make tracks in your directions. It might get so hot he'll have to put out smoke signals. Another one. <sighs> oh, that one's just a bunch of... Wait, wait, put the wow back in powwow? Maybe you need to break out the peace pipe because other squaws will want to torch your teepee when the men folks see you in this foxy costume on a male. Uh, ones go native, uh, go yeah, Native American. This cladal, classic adult men's Indian brave costume. Your job to hunt, hunt for prey like food and beer and pretty women. So that's also very sexist because it's putting women in the same category as beer and food at a party. Um, in this comfortable costume, get what you want, then lay back and enjoy. Pass the peace pipe. Yeah, they're associating like weed and bongs and shit like that with. A piece of Native American culture. Doke. One for even like kids. Um, in this cute Indian princess tween costume, it will snap to to gather and lead the boys back to your teepee. Yeah, because that's a, that's a great thing to be talking to tweens about. And Indian princess. What princesses? Princess is a European thing. The worst though. Oh my God. Girl, you won't be sitting around the campfire stringing beads in this Pocahontas, Pocahontas, not po I almost said Pocahontas, Pocahontas powwow costume. The work is done, and time, and it's time to play cowboys and Indians. Only this time, the Indian picks off the cowboys she wants. Do you know what's wrong with that? Please tell me you know what's wrong with that. Back when you know the cowboys and Indian bullshit, and the Europeans were colonizing, they say, oh, hmm. There's a pretty little native girl. Hey, come here. You're mine now. You're my sexual whatever. Like, they would rape, they were, like, you know, the rape and pillaging? No one did it worse than the coloni the people who colonized uh, the North America. Like, seriously. <laughs> um, that's what that's referring to. It's casualizing rape and, like, sex trade, essentially. Like, mm, I just don't understand how people can be this awful. Huh, anyway, so I just realized I'm looking at myself in the, the webcam receptor thingy. I'm not, I'm like, oh shoot, I got like the cream shirt with the brown vest. I'm not like dressing like that, it's just a, I like the vest because I can use, put my pocket watch in the pocket on it here. See, this is just, oh shit, hi boobs. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to dress like anything, it's just, it's a comfy shirt, and I'm wearing it with my vest that I wear all the time. It's not, uh, probably not the best outfit to make this video. And I'm wearing, like, this pink peasant skirt, too, so it's not like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I want to get this point out there, but I seem to not be able to, this is the second time recording this video. Ah, oh, I suck. Maybe I'll retry it later and delete this crap. Anyways, I'm going steampunk this year. Well, I've, I've never been racially offensive, as I say, so I'm not being racially racially offensive because I'm just doing fun there. Now my cost now my outfit looks more steampunk because actually this is part of my steampunk costume actually because <laughs> I'm gonna be wearing this with um my striped tights and my skirt and my utility belt and all my other gear. But yeah, so I'm going steampunk, which is not offensive because that actually is made up compared to the Native American culture is not made up. It was an actual people still are an actual people who still go through a lot of strife. The worst, no, the one one thing I'll leave you with, though, the worst thing is in Canada, we have something called an Indian stat status card, so Native people don't have to pay provincial tax on um, goods and services. But it's still called an Indian status card, not a Native, not an Aboriginal. Like, I worked in retail, and I would see these, and it's like, Government of Canada, Indian status card. Why hasn't that been changed to native or ab aboriginal status card? Like, what the fuck? Okay, I think I've had my right now, and I should really be going to bed because I have school early in the morning. Bye-bye.